Hey everyone. Today we're going to take a look at some new tools. We're back in the garage again today. I know uh, the last video I left off mentioning uh, I had some new tools that I hadn't brought home from work yet. So we're going to start with those. Uh, got them up here because I haven't found a good spot for them yet. But I picked up this 10-piece uh, Mac punch and chisel set. They had, this was probably about a month ago, maybe a little over a month, but they had this deal going on. If you bought all of these, you'd get two uh, bag chairs for free. Uh, and I think these were $150 for this set. They've got, uh, they've got the cushion grip on them. Feel really nice. Haven't gotten a chance to use these yet. But uh, yeah, nice 10 piece set. Comes with your just your regular pin punches. It does have a center punch. Your pin punches, your regular punches, and three chisels. So really nice set. I've been wanting these for a while because uh, I've seen them on the Snap-on truck before. And I think, I think on Amazon you can get the Baco version, which is the same thing as the Snap-on ones. And I was going to buy those a while back and probably should have because uh, they were at one point, I think you could get both sets for $140 of punches and chisels. So anyways, pick this up, got two bag chairs, 150 bucks. So I thought that was a pretty neat deal. They called them the 10 piece molded grip punch and chisel set. There's your part number right there. PCHG10SB. Again, got that and some bag tricks. So, um, you probably all know where we're going here. We are going back into the screwdriver drawer. And as you can tell, we got a lot more in there compared to the last video. So, we'll get started here, right here in the middle of, the, of your screen. Uh, picked up the PB Swiss Rainbow Set, which is super, super cool. So we got a number three Phillips right here. Uh, on screen, they look, on camera, they look blue. They're more of a dark blue, purple. Maybe dark blue, dark purple, kind of. But uh, they got the marking on the end of the handle. I really like the PB Swiss screwdrivers, the way, the way their handle is. I think they feel really nice. As you know, we've had this one a while. It's just the regular number two. Have used this a little bit. Great grip. The screwdriver bites really nice. So then we have the number two and kind of a, I don't know. They call it an orange. It's a pretty light orange. The color pretty much translates on the video. This is a number two. Again, I think it's really cool that they carry over the color on the end of the screwdriver. Let's hold over here. Uh, then we got the number one, I believe. Yep, number one in green. That color is a little bit darker in person, but it's, it's a really cool color. Again, color on the back, the size of the, of the tip and the length. Here's the part number of the screwdriver. And then it also came with a zero in kind of a, kind of a, just a really light blue, which is really cool. I forgot to tell you too, they're marked on the, on the shaft of the screwdriver too. So yeah, really cool set. Um, it also came with a really neat screwdriver holder and it came with screws. But I think this PB Swiss holder is way nicer than the, than the one that comes with the Wera stuff. I think this is, uh, it holds them really nice and displays them really nice. So yeah, came with that. Then we've got a big order from uh, Amazon Japan. Primarily uh, vessel screwdrivers and Awera. So we'll start with these over here. These are the Vessel Neon screwdrivers. 
So they're they're shaped like uh, like their uh, ball ball handle screwdrivers. But the white part here and here is glow in the dark. Um, Got to be honest, I thought that was cool, so I bought them. But I think oh, and then it's I don't I don't understand this if it's just I don't know for some reflectivity. But this ring is glow in the dark too. But uh, I think if you were out working working in the field somewhere, you know, working on heavy equipment, working on farm equipment uh, at night, uh, and you happen to be using a screwdriver for something, I think this would be super handy. You drop it, drop it in a bean field or a corn field at night, or in the dirt. Uh, should be really easy to find. So, and this is a JIS screwdriver also. So it's, and the, that G, JIS uh, bites super well in a regular Phillips screw. I've been very happy with my vessel screwdriver, my regular vessel screwdrivers. They are awesome. Also got the flat. Oh, this, the, the Phillips was a number two. Um, and then we got the, the flat blade too. Um, so the Phillips comes in red and the flat comes in blue, but, uh, also glow in the dark. Really neat. Ordered a set of these. These are the Vessel Super Cushion screwdrivers. This is a JIS as well. But as you can see, they, it says gel, and I don't know if there's really actually gel in there, but the grip is very very squishy um it forms your handle really or your hand really nice uh i think you'd get some really good really good grip on this um there's all that information like i said the vessel's super cushion in the jis and here is the flat again with that squishy handle and the flat this one, oh, this one's kind of a little bit brighter in on the camera. This is more of a bluish purple, kind of like the PB Swiss was also. Then we got this one here. This is, I think this is a really cool screwdriver. This is a Vessel uh, number two JIS. They call it the Power Grip. So it's bolstered, but it's the bolster is made right into the shank of the screwdriver. And as you can see through that handle, it's like keyed into the handle in two spots, right here and right here. But then it also has a striking cap. So it's a really heavy screwdriver, but it feels, for being a solid handle, feels really good. Again, this is a JIS, but uh, yeah, really nice screwdriver. I can't wait to, can't wait to use that. And then we also got these right here, these blue and red screwdrivers. These are vessels. The blues are flat and the reds are the JIS. Um, I, they didn't really have a name for these um, on Amazon Japan, but I know in the US they are called, I think, uh, dang it, the name. The name has uh, left me now. But they have they have a set that you can get in the U.S. It's just all all black. I think they call it the Armor Grip. But they're kind of a they're a hard handle. But they've got all sorts of you know grooves, kind of like a you know that type of shape handle marking on the end. I mean it fits real good um, for a hard handle. But uh, yeah, bought these. They look super super cool. Can't wait to try them out. Again, they come with two flats and two JIS in red. They all have the size markings on the end. Same with the number two. So, yeah, really good screwdrivers. I, I'm excited to give these a shot. They feel really nice. Man, just your typical... Typical JIS, no, no jaws fits like the Megadoras. 
So uh, these these were a cheaper set of screwdrivers, but uh, they should work really good. And what I mean by jaws fit, a lot of you guys that have been around a while, we've showed these off. You can see, you can see those grooves there. They're supposed to keep you into a screw and from slipping out. So last for the screwdriver drawer is the Weira Diamond. And I could be wrong here, but I could only find these on Amazon Japan. Um, and as you know, we looked at, I've got that set of um, Japanese edition screwdrivers, and those are diamond screwdrivers as well. So I think these are strictly made in Japan, but uh, awesome color blue, blue and black, typical craft form handle, fits real nice. This one has got a hex shank and bolster. So these things would just work awesome, I think. Again, can't wait to can't wait to get this to use. And the diamonds do not have the laser tip, as you can see, but it says craft form diamond and a little diamond emblem down there. So Again, I think these are strictly made in Japan. If somebody else knows any different, be sure to leave a comment. But uh, that should be it for the screwdriver drawer. We took a look at all them. Uh, can't remember prices on all these, especially the ones I ordered from Amazon Japan. I think the whole order between this set, the Weira, the two other two sets of vessels, and the power grip, I think I spent, oh, maybe 120 bucks on, $120 on all those screwdrivers. And then I think the PB Swiss, I ended up buying them on PB Swiss's website. And uh, it shipped from Kentucky, maybe, or Georgia, Georgia, maybe, right from PB Swiss America. And those were relatively inexpensive i think those were 50 or 55 dollars for the set so great screwdrivers there um we'll leave one thing for last uh a while back i don't know that had to have been sometime this summer i got a alert on uh youtube saying that uh coil tools was live on youtube so i got on there and was watching his live video with a couple other guys and he was doing this drawing for uh tool truck credit so i i just happened to comment and on how to enter because i was a little late to the party and he had said so i went back had to go to another video and comment and they did their next drawing and sure enough i got it so got 80 dollars onto the coil tools tool truck and one of the things i picked up and if Lindsay ever watches this, uh, I'm sorry. To, I was such a pain with all the pricing. and I priced a lot of things through him and finally decided on, on a couple things. But uh, got this 10 millimeter uh, Weira reversible ratcheting wrench. It's got that cool plate up here that doesn't let uh, heads of bolts or nuts to pass through to kind of hold them. And I have used this a little bit at work, and it worked really well. The ratcheting part is super smooth. There we go. Super smooth. Uh, the little bulge in the handle, it fits real nice. These are just quality, quality wrenches. I love it. So they are spendy, though. So I just picked up the 10 and... Uh, Maybe someday get get a larger set, but got that from Coil Tools. We got one other thing from him. Uh, not in that drawer. Couldn't remember quite where I put it. Oh, there we go. Then I picked up some Lang uh, interchangeable feeler gauge set. So you just loosen that thumb screw up. And it comes with a stack of blades, stack of feeler gauges, and you just swap them in and out of the handle. Uh, I'd been eyeing these for a while and thought this would be a good chance to get them. So 
comes with two different handles. You can load them for like your intake and your exhaust valves and load the set you need and you're good to go. So pick those up from him. Those are the two things I got from him. Uh, we go over here to the road box and I've had these a while, just have kind of forgotten to show them. But I ordered a set of Capri screwdrivers because before the Capris, this was my screwdriver arrangement in my road box, which is just a bunch of older, cheap Tecton screwdrivers, this interchangeable bit one, and another bit screwdriver with bits. And I've got a set of the uh, Craftsman Impacta screwdrivers in here too and some AC Delco Torx screwdrivers and some Mac picks and whatever. So ordered this off of Amazon. I think these were $40. So the handle is really similar to the Wira. Um, doesn't feel quite as nice as the Wira, but uh, it's very similar. Um, I think they will be a good set of screwdrivers. Probably use these more this winter working on working on stuff in the garage but uh the foam tray is all right um it's nice in the road box i guess keeps everything in place and then you know if you lost it or whatever but definitely wouldn't have room in the screwdriver drawer in the big box but uh yeah i think these will be a pretty good set of screwdrivers again we'll probably use mo these more this winter along with the rest of them we'll give a try and then we're into the special edition drawer. Got a hold of uh, Kiwi Tools out of Sweden. And super fast, really cheap for this set of screwdrivers. But you guessed it. Got the Weira Sweden edition. So um, I'm also trying to, or I did find some of the the Finland and the Austria set. Um, I'm pretty sure, let's move these up here. I'm pretty sure that this set, the Sweden set, Swedish set, the Finland and the Austria are the same exact set, just uh, different handles. So we'll take, open this up and take a look at them. Uh, and just like the USA set, the picture on the box does not do them justice. They are a lot nicer looking in person. Just grab one here. Oh, we grabbed the bottle opener. So yeah, really bright blue, bright yellow, typical craft form handle. But uh, but yeah, pick those up. Got those. Those were relatively cheap. Getting them from all the way from Sweden. So I like to thank them for working with me and getting them shipped over to me but I think that was it um it's been a little busier at work with harvest so haven't had a chance to really get on the tool trucks uh I know we had let's see Mac snap on and Mac co stop this week this last week and then this coming week I think it'll just be Cornwell on Thursday. So, uh, Matco's got the breast cancer flyer out right now. Uh, I, as we talked about a little bit in previous videos, that Matco stuff is expensive for what it is, I think. Uh, I thought it'd be really cool to get some of those pink screwdrivers, but boy, they're, they're very spendy. So, didn't, probably not going to pull the trigger on those, but would be kind of cool maybe look around for a, a used set or something, but, uh, I have been keeping an eye on, on other things. Uh, I've been keeping an eye on Harbor Freight and Icon just came out with a couple dead blows and a dead blow ball peen that I would love to get for the road box, get a couple good hammers to put in there. And I also see Hercules came out with some screw extractor bits that are like $8.00 impact rated warranty uh oh and those hammers are lifetime warranty also so probably i'm i'd really like i hope they come out with a smaller ball peen uh dead blow hammer 
because I really don't need a 32. And I've got a kind of got a heavier screw, heavier hammer in here, anyways. So like an like a 24 or something would be really nice because I think they've it's currently a 32, um, and then one of the dead blows is a 32 and a 24. So might pick up what that 24 ounce dead blow to put in there, and uh, I'd like to get get my hands on a set of those extractor bits too. So I think that'd be really neat. But as of right now, got nothing else on order. Um, oh, I do have, I do have a socket on order with Mac, uh, a 10 millimeter impact wobble socket, quarter inch drive. So I seem to be missing mine. So got one of them ordered. Um, I would like to pick up some of those, uh, Max screwdrivers too. I don't have any Max screwdrivers, so I like to pick up a set of them. And I'm still waiting for the new handles to go on sale uh, for the Cornwell ones. I'd really like to try those, and that color is awesome. So, anyways, I think that's all we got today. We'll talk to you guys later.